Welcome back everyone to another episode on Foxtech. Okay, so right now I'm going to walk you through how to turn off FaceTime on your iPhone. Whether you're looking to avoid unwanted calls, conserve your data, or protect your privacy, disabling FaceTime can be a simple solution. I'll guide you through the steps to do this, so let's get started. First, let's talk about why you might want to turn off FaceTime entirely on your iPhone. For some, the constant barrage of FaceTime calls can be a bit distracting, especially if you're in the middle of work or other important tasks. Turning off FaceTime can help you avoid those interruptions. Additionally, if you're on a limited data plan, you might be concerned about how much bandwidth FaceTime calls can consume. Video calls in particular can use a significant amount of data, so turning off FaceTime can be a good way to manage your data usage more effectively. Lastly, there's the issue of privacy. Sometimes you you might want to prevent any accidental video or audio calls, especially if you're in situations where privacy is crucial. Disabling FaceTime ensures that you won't make or receive any calls by mistake. Now that we've covered the reasons, let's get into how to actually turn off FaceTime on your iPhone. It's a very straightforward process and you can do it in just a few steps. First, open the settings app on your iPhone. Once you're in the settings menu, scroll down until you see the option labeled FaceTime. Tap on this and it will take you to the FaceTime settings page. At the top of the FaceTime settings page, you'll see a switch next to the word FaceTime. This switch controls whether FaceTime is enabled or disabled on your device. To turn off FaceTime, simply toggle this switch off. When you do this, FaceTime will be disabled on your iPhone, meaning you won't be able to make or receive any FaceTime calls. It's important to note that if you ever decide you want to use FaceTime again, you can easily re-enable it by going back to the same settings page and toggling the switch back on. It's that simple. One thing to keep in mind is that disabling FaceTime on one device does not automatically disable it on other Apple devices that are using the same Apple ID. So if you want to turn off FaceTime completely across all your Apple devices, you'll need to repeat these steps on each device. This is particularly important if you have an iPad, Mac, or another iPhone that's linked to your Apple ID, and you want to ensure FaceTime is turned off on those devices as well. And that's all there is to it. Disabling FaceTime is a quick and easy way to manage your calls, conserve data, and protect your privacy. Whether you want to turn it off temporarily or for the long term, you now know exactly how to do it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you found it useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech tutorials and tips. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.